check it out, Casper! Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Casper here, and welcome to How I Tricked Them. Today we're going to be looking at my recently released Trick Stab montage slash frag movie called Imaginary Places. If you haven't seen it, don't worry, there'll be a link at the end, but I'm also going to show all those stabs again while I explain them. And this is going to be sort of like a, a tutorial about what I did to pull off those stabs to help you understand if you do want to be someone who trick stabs or not get trick stabbed, what was going through my mind at the time, what I think allowed me to basically take advantage of these people and come out as the victor. We're going to look at every stab, but we're going to start off with this one. Now, it's very possible that you did not see that coming, and that is exactly the intention here. Most of the time when you see someone going for a stair stab, they'll turn around at the top of the stairs and then try and jump over you. Which, obviously, if you're expecting it, it makes it a little bit easier. But there's very little to indicate that I'm going to stair stab this guy. As far as he can tell, I'm just running away. And that's what makes this one really difficult to avoid. Of course, it's difficult for the spy because you can't see what you're doing. But one of the good things about a stab like this is that you don't actually have to land perfectly behind the medic. I'll just illustrate here on TR Walkway. If you actually land on someone's head, there is a sort of like um, 180 degrees around the, someone's back where you can stab them. If you imagine an apple sliced in half and then stuck on someone's back, that is the sort of radius where you can stab someone. So you can see here, my knife is going into the stab animation, even though I'm not directly behind them. So you can see there is quite a few in-game feet or whatever you want to call it, where I can actually pull off the stab, which means you don't have to be perfect. You can land on the head and walk backwards slightly in the split second and still pull off the stab. So this next one is a case of understanding how fast classes walk and just timing it really well. I spot this pyro in the distance. You can see he's not close enough to even try a stab. And obviously he hasn't seen me escape. So he's gonna be trying to get me. So I use this to my advantage. I know he's gonna turn 90 degrees when he gets here because he wants to get his flames on me. So I just time it really well. Again, this is just a case of playing the game enough to understand the timing of the, the movement speeds. And then all I have to do is move 90 degrees. I don't have to get behind him because he's made his back available to me by turning that 90 degrees originally. And it turns into a pretty easy stab. I laughed quite a lot when I pulled this one off and I was a little bit surprised there wasn't any rage in the chat from the enemy spy but I, I spot him here and I'm trying to stab him but I lose focus of him and I know he's probably been hurt and he needs to recharge his cloak and he's probably gone for an ammo kit or a health kit and there's two little spots where he's probably gone to my left or my right so I fake as if I've just left him alone and I turn around just to check if he has now decided to come out of hiding sure enough he has I don't know if he was expecting a stair stab here or anything but again it's timing and probably the fact that I did fake running away he really wasn't expecting me to turn around and go for this now ignoring the fact that this medic should not have run up here after three of his teammates had died. The reason that this trick stab worked is probably because he literally could not see me on his screen. He had no idea that I had jumped over his head. Because if you look at the moment here where I jump, assuming that he's looking directly forward, he probably never sees me. And obviously it's completely impossible to avoid a stab if he didn't even see it. This one is an example of he probably did see me, but because it's such an unexpected angle for a trick stab to come from, it works. So he sees the spy here, and in most situations, he's got the upper hand, hasn't he? The spy is in a really awkward position. He's got a rocket launcher. If anything, he probably thinks I will have run back for the health kit or the ammo kit. But the fact that I've actually jumped towards him is very unexpected. It's on an awkward angle, and this little bit of wall here obviously helps me. It's not quite a blind stab, because I think the moments before I landed, he would have seen me. But he didn't see the jump, which is probably the easiest bit to react to, to not get trick stabbed. So the fact that he never saw the jump makes it almost impossible for him to react in time to avoid the stab. So this is the final clip of the video, and I'll start commentating from quite far back, because obviously, I just want to sap the sentry. I don't sap these straight away because I want to get the heals from them. Once I see the engineer come in, I think, well, my cover's blown, might as well go for it. And he falls for an easy trick stab there. I'm not missing, as you can see, they're all piled on top of each other. I do get them all here. I can't win with this scout. I got two people chasing me, and what happens here is I fake going one way. So that makes the engineer turn in midair towards me, and then I flick back the other way quickly. There's no way he'll have time to react to that. So it's pretty easy, sort of matador stab really, but the fact that he's dropping as well also allows me to get under him a little bit. And again, remember I mentioned that apple shape earlier? That still applies if you think about it on the underside. I don't have to be 
behind him. I can be on top of him or under him and still be within backstab angle. So there was a few more stabs in that video that I could put in this, but in the interest of keeping it in a nice watchable time length, I'm going to end it there. So please let me know if you like this idea. I mean, I've got a bunch of trick stab videos from before, although I might not have the original footage to do a little bit of extra editing to it. But I love trick stab tutorials. When I was learning to play Spy, literally all I watched was trick stab tutorials. So if I can give back to the people who are like I was when I was learning, then that's really the goal of this channel. So I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you've got any like detailed questions, go ahead and ask them. And yeah, happy trick stabbing.